Hey guys, Lodicus here with a 100% completion walkthrough for Turret Rampage. This should take you anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes to complete. It released on the 31st of January 2024. It was developed by Kudo and published by East Asia Soft. It can be found in the Xbox and PlayStation stores for $4.99 and you should expect a 20% discount during launch. Turret Rampage is a simplistic turret defense game where you need to defend yourself from waves of subterranean monsters. This being a new East Asia Soft title launch, we already have the title update installed with 2000 gamer score, and there is a total of 17 achievements or trophies to earn. Most of these are related to completing the first seven levels. However, there is a few specific achievements that you won't collect naturally. Thankfully, the game does have level select, so nothing's missable. And at the start of each level, I'll let you know what achievements can be earned on this level and how to go about getting them. So on the very first level, we're just going to stay still and not fire by pressing A. This will give us the achievement for dying without firing a shot. In terms of controls, you can go up and down the rail and turn your turret left and right with the analog stick, A to fire, and in later levels you unlock new abilities on X, Y and B. You can also change the colour palette by tapping RB if you want something less intense. We've just earned the achievement defective turret for not firing a shot. We're just going to replay level 1 again. And this time we're going to get the achievement called so close which is to lose when the timer shows less than five seconds so currently the time is sat at around 20 seconds then it goes to 19 18 17 so once the left hand column turns to a zero wait till the right hand column goes to five or less and then let yourself die it does take three hits to get yourself killed so at the very start of this level i let myself get hit twice knowing i had one life left and then once I got under less than five, I just let myself get hit again, losing so close to completing the level. This time we're going to play level one again. We're going to complete it this time, but what we need to do is take two hits to lose two lives, leaving us with just one left as there is an achievement related to completing a level with only one life. So as this right hand lane comes in, we're just going to let them hit us twice. Once we've been hit twice, that'll take us down to our last life. And what we need to do now is actually clear both sides. So just turn your turret left and right with the analog stick and hold A to fire, just to make sure you clear out all enemies. And then once you've completed the level, you should get baptism of fire for completing level one and then unbending will for completing a level with only one health left. As we move into level two, there's another miscellaneous achievement we can get on this one called Woodpecker's Stunt. This is to complete a level after shooting a wall 30 times. On level two here, there is three lanes that we need to defend. However, the top left lane is kind of blocked off. There's nothing there just yet, but you can still turn your turret and shoot the wall. So what we need to do here is shoot the wall 30 times. Thankfully, there is a counter there. So make sure you're defending the lanes as a priority and then get the 30 hits in the top left before completing the level. You'll also be introduced to a new enemy type and an ability on this level. So these seven balls that float towards you can't be killed or damaged with the traditional air shot. You'll need to kill these with the new ability, which can be found on X on the Xbox controller. This fires a double shot and kills them in one go. I did ensure I got over 30, so I believe I did 31 hits in the top left corner just to be on the safe side. And if done correctly, you should get the Woodpecker achievement as well as the achievement for completing the first two levels. So as we move on to level three, you'll be pleased to hear there's no tricky miscellaneous achievements as such left to do. So you should be able to play through this game normally going forward, but I will chip in at the start of each level just to let you know if there's any new enemy types or abilities that have been added. So on level three here, we do get introduced to a fourth tunnel that we need to defend, as well as a new enemy type, which is a floating axe. These guys are defeated by shooting them twice with the standard air button and everything else on this level should be what you're familiar with before. Just continue to press A and X to defeat the different enemy types. And I'll speak to you again on level four.
As we move on to level 4, we're still stuck with the same 4 tunnels. No new tunnels have been introduced. However, there is a new enemy type. This guy on the left, which is carrying a kind of axe. There's two shots needed to kill him. So first you'll need to use the X ability, the double shot to turn him down into sort of an animal. And then you can finish him off with the A standard attack on the cannon, which should kill him within one shot. So the new guy will take two shots. You will need to vary between the X and the A ability. Other than that, level four, not too difficult. So as we move on to level five here, we do get a fifth tunnel open up. So we've got an extra one to defend and we also introduced to a new enemy type. So you can see on the right hand side here, there's some sort of spinning top coming towards me. There is a new ability on Y, which does an earthquake. This will turn them into their second form when pressed. And then we can kill them just by tapping A with the standard turret attack. There is actually a miscellaneous achievement for turning three of them all at once but it's a little bit difficult to do on this level i would suggest waiting till level six when more of them appear on screen at once so the idea with that achievement is to get three spinning tops all on screen at once and then press earthquake but the chances are you're more likely to get it on the next level So as we move on to level six, we have the same amount of tunnels to defend and the same enemies. No new enemies are introduced at this point. However, there is a new random event which has been added from these levels onwards. Every so often, a couple of tunnels will be highlighted with like a yellow white haze. All you want to do is just move out the way of that and it'll purge all enemies with on that line, which you've just seen at the bottom of the screen there. This random event's called Silver Shackles and there is an achievement to materialize or kill 150 enemies with this. So once the lane's highlighted, just move out the way so the enemies start piling in and let them get wiped out. As this is rather random, you have no control over it. This achievement will just pop as you progress through the game. You will also have noticed I did get the achievement for getting three spinning tops on screen before pressing Y Earthquake for that achievement to pop. That's all we need to know for level six and I'll catch you over at the start of level seven. As we move on to level seven, we get the final tunnel open up in the bottom right here. So we do have six that we need to defend. And we also get a new enemy type, which is about to appear on screen shortly, which is kind of a giant blob. What you need to do is shoot him once with just the traditional air shot. And then on the second shot, you'll need to use the double cannon on X to finish him off. So the first air shot will transform him into a seven sphere ball, which we've seen before. And you know, those guys are taken out by pressing X. So there you go. There's a quick example of two of them quickly disposed of. After that, nothing much to note in this level. Just make sure you keep lining up plenty of enemies in the silver shackles when they decide to highlight certain tunnels. 
and then make sure you clear all enemies out trying to keep yourself alive and we'll see you over on level 8 which is the final level that we're going to farm for last couple of achievements. As you move on to level 8, you should find you only have around 3 achievements left to do. You should have Dizzy Work 3, which is to turn around 300 times. That's a case of just moving your cannon left and right, aiming down the different tunnels. You'll have Enemy of My Ghosts, which is to kill 150 beans with those silver shackles, those random events. So just a case of grinding those out as best you can. And then the last achievement you probably have is Retaliation, which is to destroy 75 enemies with the defense mechanism. That is, of course, when you take damage, it wipes out that whole tunnel on that side. So every time you get hit, it triggers the defense mechanism, killing enemies. You need to kill 75 with that. So I suggest working on the shackles. Once you've got the 150 kills with the shackles, I suggest just letting the enemies hit your defenses, wiping themselves out. Once you die, restart the level and rinse and repeat till 75 of them are being killed, which you'll see at the very end of this video. Well, that's it from me. I should have covered all achievements in the base game and the first title update. If you enjoyed the guide, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from myself in the future, please do subscribe. And finally, I'd love to give a huge thank you to these beautiful people listed below that have decided to support my YouTube channel and become members.